What's going on, everybody? Bipolar Bear here. Ooh, it's a little smoky in here. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I had a tooth taken out. And it just kind of hurt to talk a lot. I know my wife has really enjoyed the silence that I've had. So, yay for the silence of, of, the, of me. And she's shaking her head, yeah. She's over, over there shaking her head, yeah. You're probably here, here laughing at me. Uh, got a couple things I want to review today. Uh, I have an E-Leaf uh, iStick 100, as well as the new TFV4 with the triple coil. Uh, in this mod, I am running some juice that I've done in the past. Turtle Blood, I can't find the bottle. I know it's here somewhere, but anyway. Uh, the liquid burns really well through the coil. Uh, you, you can kind of tell it's massive clouds. I'll do a quick hit. I'm running uh, 85 watts at 4.3 volts. This is the triple coil. Watch. The flavor is outstanding. I cannot even begin to tell you how good this is. Uh, if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. I haven't done the quadruple coil yet. The uh, Waiting until the three, the three coil burns out, then I'm going to try the quadruple coil. I've heard that the flavor is even more intense and the clouds are even thicker. Especially at the 85 watt range. I've uh, tried a couple liquids in here. Of course, you know, I had to do the little bit of bottle that I have left of Madman uh, lemon bars. Uh, I'm placing another order to get another couple big bottles of that. Uh, the flavor of this is insane. I mean, <sighs> it's beautiful. So, would I recommend buying this? Hell to the yeah. If you don't have a mod that will run it in the 85 watt range, um, I got this E-Leaf for around $30, uh, which is kind of a was kind of a surprise when I got when I saw it. I'll leave a link down below uh, about where I got it from. I believe it was 101 Vapes. Uh, I'll double check and I'll leave the link in the description down below. It takes two 18650s. Let me pop the cap here. Show you what we got rolling here. I've got the new Samsung 25R5s. Uh, if you have any of the blue Samsung 25Rs, the 18650s, these have an improved uh, cycle rate and I think a, an improved discharge rate at the higher amperages. I'm not entirely sure. I read the spec sheet, but it's just kind of gibberish to me. But all in all, this box, I was kind of iffy about it. Uh, then I read it does have the USB pass-through, which works out great for me because I only have a charger that has two slots. And I don't have that many extra batteries. I'm in the process of getting more batteries, so I can always have a set in there ready to go. Uh, until that happens, though, I can depend on the USB pass-through on this to get the job done and to keep these batteries charged the way I need them to be charged. The ease of function of this is good. You can kind of... Buttons are nice and clicky. The weight is really nice. I will say the TFV4 tank is a heavy beast. It is strong. It is powerful. Uh, it handles everything you can throw at it. It does have the temperature control uh, mouthpiece on it to help keep your hotter vapes cool. Uh, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I have. The design is really well, very sturdy. It does have the top filled where I roll this down, pop it over, and just drip whatever I need into it. The set that I got came with the triple coil, which is in it. It came with a quadruple coil, as well as an RBA. Uh, I haven't d touched the RBA yet. 
but I will be doing that. I've got a uh, Hellboy that I'm going to start building coils for. I'm going to start buying coils for some of my local guys around here. And uh, I've got a little tool kit. I've got the ohm meter. I've got everything ready to go. Uh, I'm going to start building that, and I'll kind of give you guys progress reports on how that goes. As far as my proficiency, I don't know how it is yet. I'm probably going to screw up a lot of coil, which I bought one of those 50-foot spindles, and uh, I'm, I'm prepared to kind of go through it to kind of get myself really well and trained up. So as I'm doing it, I will be showing you as I'm doing it, and uh, maybe you get to learn a little bit from me if I had not to do it. I am going to reach out to Omega Coils. Uh, it's a... Uh, lady and her husband, the sweetest, nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Uh, they are on one of my Facebook groups on uh, Full Metal Vapist, which, boom, there you go. I plan on buying a couple, maybe some Clapton alien coils or all this other kinds of stuff. I, I'm still learning the, the jargon, but uh, they make quality stuff. I'll leave their link as well. So, uh, send them a shout out. Tell them I sent you, and uh, check out their stuff. It's A1 Premium. So anyway, that is my review of this box, the E-Leaf iStick 100 Watt. The only thing that it doesn't have is temperature control. Uh, I haven't really messed that much with temperature control, but I believe I'm going to be getting another mod here soon that does have temperature control, and I'll be playing around with the uh, lower uh, resistance with that so as I learn I will share my screw-ups with you guys and my successes uh, had this for about three weeks as I said before monster tank best 35 bucks ever box 3195 I think it was like four or five bucks to ship or something like that like I said I'll leave links below uh, these are just going to be regular links. They're not the, the clickable links where I'm getting paid off of it. Uh, I haven't started doing anything like that. I doubt I ever will. I just want to make sure that you guys are getting uh, the best information that I can provide. And maybe get you some good deals out of it. But anyway, 5 out of 5 on design. 5 out of 5 on uh, vapor on taste, on power, uh, this is a beast, and uh, yeah, I like this little setup, so this is my stay at home vape, this doesn't go anywhere because I don't really have the ability to keep a vape like this at work, I still rely on either my uh, Kanger K-Box, 